Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for still stay tuned. My topic will be from prevention to post-pandemic recovery. New Taipei City using six P strategies for COVID-19. First is proact. We do the advanced deployment. Second is plan. The third is prepare. Prepare the manpower, material, the places, transportation, and even the funds. The fourth is protect. We're not only killing the virus. We had to protect our citizens. Fifth is the package using new innovation. New technology integrated them as the package to take care of our citizens. Fourth is practice. Speaking about plan, here's our strategy roadmap. We build a very strong medical network. We have 17 main hospitals and 36 other hospitals and 1,600 clinics in New Taipei City. We use border quarantine, community infection for risk control, two contingents. We prepare of the epidemic prevention materials. And fourth, which is very important. We must erase our public awareness. We do that a lot of people and using social media, health education, etc. About the package, we are the first city to set the home quarantine care center for our people who had to stay home for 14 days for the border quarantine. For them, we're using telephone care, mail delivery, cleansing garbage if necessary, and we also provide them a package which have face masks, free online video, ebook, and fee for age app for them to exercise at home. If they need medical consultation, we have a lot of doctors to support them and even use telemedicines for them. About the protect, especially for the vulnerable peoples, we bend the visitors to the hospital and the long-term care in the beginning. And we also temporarily stop the senior eat together program, the senior club, and some of the public indoor facilities to prevent epidemic infection. We would like to protect them but not isolate them. So we need to do the support for them to stay safe at home, we give them Fit for Age APP or home exercise education through cable TV and also the telephone care. For the people who cannot stay home alone, we still open the senior daycare center, but they had to obey all the epidemic prevention measures. Practice. If you are pro act, then you must do in the drill. This is the very large scale drill we performed in New Taipei City so that we can face the very precisely and quickly if there is any large-scale community transmission in our city. When we see the patrol of the curve, we started to do the post-pandemic recovery. We're using the progressive reopen two-phase in four stages. The principle is based on 14 days observation. If the domestic epidemic continues to slow down and the command center judge, there is no risk for the community transmission for 14 days, then we start to reopen. We started from our outdoor events, especially the events could obey the personal health monitoring, which is real name or contact system, flow control, environment disinfection, temperature measure, social distancing, or wearing face mask. If there is another 14 days slow down the epidemic situation, then we're going to phase two. In phase two, we will open the indoor events gradually and then to the vulnerable people. We provide a lot of guidelines for the gathering. If you are interesting, you can see that through our website. We are performing and announce the new normal life for our people. What is new normal living? Please, wash your hands frequently. Doing the social distancing or wearing masks. Measure the temperature if went to events. Avoid crowded places. Doing the environment cleansing and disinfection. If you are sick, please stay at home. During these days, not only COVID-19, we see that our fruit curve is down compared to last year. So I think new normal living is very important. Learn to live with COVID-19 before the vaccine or effective medicine coming. Enjoy a new normal life after the epidemic, but stay alert. This is the picture, the new normal living in New Taipei City in our very famous park near the river. So let's work together to do the new normal living. Thank you for your attention.